Hello and welcome to my world. Nope, let's start again. Um, hello and welcome back to Tony North Easton and to part 26 of building this station. So, where did we leave off from last week? Well, last week we had just finished bricking up around this office and adding these steps. Um, I came up this morning and uh, I did a little bit more. As you can see I've added all the reinforcing card onto the walls. Uh, and I've started to put the windows in. Uh, another thing I've done is I've chamfered the edge of the stonework ready for giving it a coat of uh, concrete paint. And it matches right the way along to that wall there. So before we go any further I'd just like to welcome all the new subscribers who have joined us. Over the last couple of weeks there's quite a few joined um, last week and the week before. So for those of you who have just joined I just thought I'd give you an overall view of the station before we get stuck in. And if you've missed any of this build, you can always go back. Way, way, way back. Back to March, when the station was first started. And that was the first wall to be put up. If you're willing to go that far back. Right, so, let's carry on. Right, here we are at the bench, and um, as you can see, I've, I've put all the windows in now. So the next thing to do is to do the arches and the um, window sills, and um, and then we can move on to the other wall. Um, just like to say that uh, I finally got my glue and glaze, which has come in very handy, especially around the tops of these arches, where there seems to be little tiny gaps and I've just used that to fill in the gaps um, because the only thing that's holding these in is the way that they're pressed into the car now these are quite tight fit -in windows and um, they've only got glue on the underside of that plastic card um, the Yoohoo glue so so the next phase is that we'll do the arches and sills and then um, we'll finish this wall off completely and then we'll um, start on the other wall so as you can see I've been just a little bit busy and I've finished off the inside wall. As you can see I've got the purple bricks one in from one end to the other. The sills have been done and the arches have been done. And if you notice I've done the door and the window exactly the same as these over here. So as you can see I've painted these in a uh, sandstone colour and then weathered them so it's a little details like this that I have transferred over onto platform 2 just to blend them in and that now completes the outside wall as well um, I've also painted inside the office and I've put two tabs in ready to take the LEDs and it was at this point just before I started to paint the office I realized well how on earth I want to get the supply in for the LEDs because most of the building on platform 2 is open plan and the only place I can bring the cables in without them being noticed is in through this little office Hence why I've got a little bit of car here in the corner with a gap in it. Now that will bring up at least two pairs. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to do this at some point because um, I'd like to put the LEDs on this side as well. Um, the office is no problem. I can put a pair in there. As you can see I've got the tabs in ready. So it's just a case of gluing a piece of card across with me 3 mil hole in to take the LED but I'm going to have to notch 
uh, the card here in the top corner to put the pair of cables through and then um, attach them all the way along the building splitting the pair up into two segments to go one pair to go this side and one pair to go oops it's not ready yet this side <laughs> yeah something like that it'll, it'll will work out I'm sure Okay, we're looking at this painting by A.E. Gills. It's, of course, of Sarah Shields, and um, the interesting fact of this painting is the locomotive, the G5 there, um, which used to run from Sarah Shields to Sunland. And um, you can't buy this at the moment in double O scale. You can get it in O scale um, as a kit, and you have to make it yourself, of course. But um, yes, apparently, some good news is come across that TMC is partnered up with um, Bagman to produce this locomotive um, it's going to be in six variants so the one I'm after is the one that almost matches this photograph I can't quite, quite make out the running number there because uh, so that's one, 61374 or something uh, I don't know but um, Yes, so if you're interested in one of these locos, I mean, it's not due out until 2022, so it's a long wait. But um, they're taking pre-orders at the moment, so I've ordered mine. And I'd like to thank AD Pullen for um, sourcing this information. So, there you go, a G5. So here we have the very north wall. Um, which is virtually finished apart from um, weathering and painting obviously getting rid of these card marks which I'll do right at the end because I could do the whole lot together um, what we're going to be focused on now is this end wall as you can see this is the end wall to the entrance of the station and what I've got to try and do is replicate the brickwork here onto here which is, is quite simple enough it's just a case of cutting the strips of card so that's what I'm going to do next to make this wall up ready so I can add the wall that butts up to it this way which is the southern wall so I'm just going to show you this joint how the two corners join into each other it's like a little mini dovetail joint as you can see um, we've got two thickness of card here which is roughly about four mil and as you can see here, there's about 4mm lip, then it comes back by 2mm and then 1.5mm again to allow for the thickness of card on this side. And it all just kind of dovetails together. And if you look closely at the corner there, once that's pinched with glue, you'll hardly see it. So it's just working out how you put your corners together so now we're going to start on the southern side of the station I haven't touched that wall yet not since um, uh, last week's video when I put the brick card on that side and um, also I've come up with a, an idea of how I'm going to do this little section here I've got a couple of pillars left over. What I'm going to do, I'm going to notch these back so they go back into the platform. So we just have a little bit of a column shown here. And what I'm going to do then is bring out a little platform, just by about 20, 20, 25 mil, something like that. Um, so we've got a little platform here for the goods to go in and out of these bays. So the plan is to have a window there, a door there, and a door there, on a little platform. So as you can see I've moved on a little bit more with the southern wall. And uh, as you can see I've tied in the end wall with the main southern wall. And I've added the windows. I haven't added the um, loading bay doors yet. 
and flip it round as you can see I'm in the process of following the blue bricks round and uh, I fitted the painted window half half done or half finished I don't know no let's start again so as you can see we have completed the southern wall and we're just about to start the centre section now then the two pillars we have here um, I'd like to use those um, notch them out those two pillars will go inwards and then we'll make up the difference by two thicknesses of card either side there and there to bring all of this in line and then make a little tiny loading bay maybe come out about 20 mil 25 mil something like that and then have a door there door there and a window in there and I think with that in mind it should blend in so I'll make a start I'll start modifying these pillars and then we'll see where we go from there so as you can see I've done a little sketch here of what it may look like um, this is the wall coming into the actual centre building if you like and as you can see the centre building is just slightly higher um, it's roughly about 18 millimetres and this is the canopy and loading bay it's fairly typical in railway terms so it'll have a sloping roof back and that's the actual height there of the wall so it'll come back up and then that'll continue back towards the um, the, the centre columns if you like so that's the idea I've got in mind and there's a little mock-up um, to give me an idea of centres of the columns obviously it's got to go further back yet so I'm just putting that there just to give me some um, ideas and uh, that little card there and then that one there it's basically so it all clamps together and whoops something like that so this is what I had in mind for the rear entrances on the building on platform 2 as you can see we have the two loading bay doors one and two with the big window in the middle now on the inside it looks exactly the same as the photographs but it's just here on the outside where it differs because um, we have the two pillars here but eventually there'll be four because this one will come out a bit and this side here will come out a little bit and then the brick will continue to the top of here yeah and then what I'll do is eventually I will bring the platform out about 20 30 mil so there's a little bit of a platform there because I think maybe at one point the siding that's back there may have come to here uh, I don't know but in the end I think this is a good substitute. Um, this side is slightly lower than this side by about five millimeters you can see that as the camera goes straight across the idea being is when the main oil roof comes down there'll be a little bit of a an edge here so it sort of blends in so there's no step up if you like so it just so it's just the edge forms the same right away along there and yeah so let's have a look what it looks like inside so inside it is virtually the same as what it is in the photographs except for the purple bricks that, of course and as, as you notice there there's a little bit of a step in the wall as it comes towards us um, 
and you can see the little notch out at the top of the wall obviously I'm going to bring a, a lintel across to join into the pillars and then back to the office again and as you can see it's it's coming along so that's the middle section virtually complete now uh, both sides as you can see I've got the doors on ready um, as well so the next thing to do is to put in a little brick strip in between there the pillars and the edge of the wall here just so I can have the canopy coming down over the front of the doors so I've made up a little bit of 2 mil card with a little bit of brick card on and that's just going to sit just about there and that allow like I said for the canopy to sit on so I've marked it up 58 mil from the base there to that mark there and that will start the slope to come down um, so I'll glue this on and then we'll start making up the canopy right so I've glued my um, pieces of card on ready for support in the canopy and I've also made up some right angle supports slightly shaped uh, 2 mil thick card again 12 mil there by 5.5 millimeters there by 45 mil long so what I'm going to do is where I've left a gap in between the pillars and the support I'm just going to glue them in and then hopefully you'll get the shape of the canopy like that hanging off the side of the wall so I've now glued the roof supports on so the next thing to do is, is to tie all these front edges in to stop them getting knocked and, and try and keep them square as well Ooh, that's the framework done for the canopy as you can see I've done what I normally do added the triangular cards for strengthening and just there I've just added some extra spaces uh, in between I only just stuck it together right and that finishes that little bit off now the next thing I want to do is the um, the actual um, canopy skirt or paling or whatever you like to call it so I'll do that next um, I'm just going to use white card and scribe it with a pen so what I'm doing now is I'm just scribing the pelmet that goes around the frame that we've just done and as you can see it's a monotonous job, it just takes forever every millimeter is a representative of three inches so it's a long way to go about halfway across I think and when that's painted white it will look like the um... right as you can see I have finished the canopy edging now that's glued onto the canopy frame and um, I've also added the brick plinth that runs along the wall there as well so that's virtually completed apart from painting and, and I've done the same on the inside with the purple bricks so it's virtually complete this now so let's go and see what it looks like on the layout so with that middle section in now this virtually completes all the walls on platform 2 um, there's still one more little minor detail to do and that's to add just a small platform here which will join the two uh, outer walls together and um, this is just my interpretation of what may have been here judging by 
the evidence with the photographs of the detail and inside as well as outside. And here is a view of the walls internally. Um, you can't see that well until I get down to the track level. Uh, once you're at the track level, you can see quite clearly all the detail. So that's, like I was saying, that's all the brick walls um, supporting wall size complete. Um, so hopefully next week we can uh, paint the walls, get them weathered, then I can glue all these sections together and then start working on the internal um, roof supports. And uh, yes, so we, we've come a long way. So I think well, that is all from me this week. Um, stay safe everybody and look forward to seeing you next week um, hopefully with a little bit more done bye for now